Middle Tennessee is awesomely beautiful with its lush, green, rolling hills and hollers. Our fertile soils grow great gardens, and we can turn our worn out soil into good soil with compost, lime, and a little tender loving care. But gardening in hilly country poses a special problem, soil erosion. Terracing is the solution, and here is a terrace that was put in back in the 30s. So, uh, soil conservation went through a lot of the hills in Tennessee and, and ran terraces so that the water runs laterally. Water will seek its own level and doesn't just wash right down the hill. There's a break in the terrace here, and when we get a gully wash of rain, the water carries my precious soil off of the farm. So I need to fix that, that break in the terrace. We use a transit to find the level lines along the contours of these hillside pastures. I then flag it and follow the flags with a chisel plow. It's about two feet apart and the trenches are only uh, three to four inches deep. So as the water then is coming off the hill to go to the creek and away from here, it gets caught in these trenches and soaks in, and that water then is used later on in our farm to grow pastures when it's dry in the summertime. Here we've laid some old logs on top of each other, held in place by metal fence posts. It's not the prettiest, but it holds back the soil for this blueberry patch. I brought in compost and good soil to backfill it because we love blueberries so much. Contour plowing helps to prevent soil erosion. In this bed here, the land falls off at the end, so we're planting in a curve following the lay of the land. So when we get a rain, the soil doesn't wash off. It's more likely to just stay here. This is a project that I have dreamed of doing for years. On the hillsides, it's too steep to grow a garden. So I hired a bulldozer and he took off the topsoil from this little section curves around this fence here and he piled the topsoil off, put the bulldozer in there and leveled the subsoil. We spread several tons of sand and lime and then the bulldozer put the topsoil back on all in about four hours. After a liberal dose of compost, we grew cover crops to bring the soil back in heart. This garlic was then planted last September. Now for the grand finale. Rocks make the prettiest terrace. This wall is just held in place with sand and gravel. There's no cement in it, and it's holding the soil up here, so it's, it's the terrace for this garden right here. All cultures that last for thousands of years, think of Peru and China and Tibet, they flatten out their hillsides so that their soil stays there. They know how precious that soil is. Form follows function and beauty is close behind. A terrace saves soil and creates a feeling of a garden that's well loved and is here to stay. For inspiring garden tours, growing tips, and garden projects, visit our website at volunteergardener.org or on YouTube at the Volunteer Gardener channel and like us on Facebook.